Are you wondering why adult children cut off? Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about 11 reasons why adult children cut ties. And it's not just about being toxic. Hi, I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach. Let's get started. This video lists 11 reasons why adult children cut off. We're not talking about toxic parenting. So go watch my video, Why Adult Children Cut Off Abuse, Betrayal, and Toxic Bad Parenting. All right, number one, divorce. Now, not every divorced couple ends up having estranged adult children. However, as a contributor, when there's a divorce, there's a lot of different things that could go on. One of them is parental alienation. And that's when one parent paints the other one in this negative light. And there's a lot of nastiness around what the other parent is about. The children get of course, impacted by this. Another reason is, is that each child going through a divorce or adolescent experiences their own feelings and interpretation about what has happened. So it can impact them. And the likelihood is very high when there's a divorce that there will be estrangement going on. Number two, pressure from in-laws or partners. So when there's either a toxic or controlling partner that's married your child or is with your adult child, this stress from them can create a situation where there's estrangement. Pressure from that person on your adult child can lead to estrangement, particularly when there is a very close-knit family. This can be a threat to your adult child's partner. And then there's this pushing of separating and becoming their own unit. That is a contributor to estrangement. Number three is the presence of mental illness and addiction. So if your adult child or the parent has mental illness and addictions, this complicates and becomes a contributor to estrangement. What happens is, is in addictions or mental illness, there's a lot of stress around um, the person with the illness or the addiction and the uncertainty of what they're going to do, the pressures they place on each other. And there's a lot of conflict that happens. So there's a likelihood and a potential. And this is one of the contributors of estrangement. And number four is their therapist. So the information provided in this video comes from three resources. Dr. Joshua Coleman's book, uh, Kylie Agalias, and Dr. Carl Pilmer's book. Um, the description box below will have these resources, but what's important to note about this one, their therapist, is that it's normal for the adult child to go into therapy. In fact, it's become so um, easy and unstigmatized for people to go to therapy when they're having difficulties or when they need support and they feel stressed. But if they go to a therapist and they sit there and they talk through their version, and this is their perspective, it's normal and natural for the therapist to hear their side and listen, genuinely listen to what they're saying. If the adult child is reporting things like challenging relationship, a lot of stress, feeling very uncomfortable, feeling like their parent is not satisfied with them or is very demanding. It's normal for the therapist to help the adult child recognize that this relationship is not good for them and that the possibility of cutting off 
is not the end of the world and is actually an option for them. When it's communicated in therapy that their well-being is being threatened and they don't feel good, they're very stressed because of the parental adult-child relationship, it's okay and natural for the therapist to encourage a movement away from the relationship with the parents. The thing about this is that it's just one side of the picture. Now, this is not the optimal, but it is possible that an adult child can visit their therapist, talk about the experiences that they've had, the uncomfortableness around their parents, them feeling that it's an unmanageable situation, and a therapist can and may have actually suggested that it's a good idea for them to cut off. And number five is having too close of a relationship. So what this means is, is the parent and the adult child are so close, there is no separation between where one begins and the other one begins. They're kind of enmeshed in this relationship of very, very close behaviors. They're on the phone a lot. They're communicating a lot. Um, at some point, the adult child can begin to feel very uncomfortable. Their relationship with their parent is just overwhelming or too much. The adult child may be feeling a lot of angst. They're very close with their parent. Maybe they feel like they need some space and they don't know how to say it. And in order to create some kind of boundary for their well-being, because being overly close and being enmeshed means that there's not a lot of boundaries. Anything goes. You can call whenever you want. You could say whatever you want. And for the individuation, for the separateness of the adult child, it's important for them to feel whole, like they can make their own decisions. So cutting ties is one way that this helps the adult child gain their individualness. One of the things that happens when adult children and parents are very, very close is that the lack of boundaries becomes a place where parents exert a lot of control. And even if the parents mean well, so this is really important because I'm not sure parents mean harm towards their adult child when they're trying to guide them wisely. However, for the adult child, this is really not healthy. They need to be making their own decisions, even important ones that might not always be what the parent believes is right. And it's respectful for the parents to allow their children to make, their adult children, their grown children to make decisions. And so being too close and having this overly controlling parent does not work and is a contributor to estrangement. Number six is differing values and lifestyle choices. So when there's disagreements of how an adult child ought to control their life or live their life, there's a lot of angst naturally. So the adult child and these differing values can be about partner choices, gender, sexuality, and even political thoughts that can create a lot of angst between parents and adult children. But for adult children, when they are pressed with their parent, perhaps pressuring or pushing that this is not a good choice, whatever that choice is, it can lead to estrangement. So Joshua Coleman talks about this societal change. But what's happening is, is that 
adult children want their autonomy. They want their own agency. They want to be able to make their decisions, be respected by others, especially their parents. And they want to feel validated to do what they think is best. This societal change towards individualism and autonomy pushes the parents' values out and away from them, cutting off in order to make room for their own. Number seven is unmet expectations. And for the parents listening right now, it's probably unnecessary for me to describe what that means to you, because I'm sure as a parent, you feel an unmet expectation. But let's think about what adult children would like. So if an adult child is looking for a degree of support and respect, meaning that you're honoring their wishes, you're respecting that they have a right to their own opinion, you're heeding what they're telling you, and you're not looking to change who they are. As an expectation of you behaving a certain way, and your expectation is, is that they respect you no matter what, even if you miss the mark, and when they do something, you're not there for them. It's very confusing and hurtful. So adult children have expectations that parents don't necessarily meet. Now, this doesn't have to do with what you give them in terms of material things. This has to do with what you give them in terms of time, support, being there respectfully. So there's a social norm that if we give to someone, there's going to be some reciprocity. For adult children, that holds as well. If they're giving to their parents, showing up for them, being there to be helpful and supportive, and then when it's their turn to receive parents aren't there, it could be very hurtful. Number eight is parenting styles. There's all different kinds of parents. There are parents that are very unloving, distant. There are those that are very loving, very close, very on top of their adult child and everything that they do. But these differing parenting styles can impact. Remember earlier we spoke about someone that's too close, maybe a little bit of a helicopter, someone that's on top of their adult child's every move. Well, what about the other end of the spectrum when a parent is somewhat distant, they're not present for them. They seem to be off doing their own thing and the adult child could use some emotional support and the parent is not there for them. So parenting styles that occur in childhood naturally participate in what the adult child is feeling when he gets older. So talk about latchkey kids that were basically raising themselves. The parent was off working, doing the best they could. However, the adult child, when they were a kid, was not really being supportive. They didn't have anybody in their corner. Their parent wasn't there for them. This type of hurtfulness that the perception of the adult child holds is a contributor to estrangement. And there's also this piece of it being fashionable for parents to be blamed for the woes of the adult child. Now, naturally, parents are not perfect. They do things, they miss the mark. But in terms of making the parent the responsible party for the difficulty and the challenges that the adult child is experiencing is something that's a contributor for estrangement. One other piece of this poor parenting that's an influence in creating um, an environment for estrangement is this imperfect parenting. Well, let's flesh that out a little bit. So parents are going to be imperfect, but the measurement on the lens that an adult child could see their parent as 
missing the mark frequently, not being there for them. This is also participating in how the adult child views the relationship and is a contributor to estrangement. Number nine is money. So money is definitely an issue for adult child parental estrangement. It could be who gets the money? When do they get the money? Where is the money? What is your parent doing with the money? I don't like using the word because it's so offensive to adult children, but the idea of entitlement, like, hey, I'm your kid, I'm entitled to get something. And the parent maybe is on a fixed income and they've saved a certain amount of money and the adult child believes that they're entitled to get this money loan or whatever and the parent puts a kibosh on it and the kid is like beside themselves conflict happens you get the picture because you probably have heard stories about this and then there's the idea of someone getting an inheritance let's say the parent gets an inheritance from their parents passing and the adult child is like great can I get in on that? And the parent isn't having it for whatever reason. And then there's the idea of adult children expecting that there's unending support. Perhaps they're having a really tough go of being independent financially. And they keep asking parents for um, help not paying back loans or maybe paying back sporadically. And the parent is like, no, I have to create a a boundary now and the adult child is beside themselves or upset and there's conflict. So these are all contributors. And number 10 is communication problems and errors. And so let's talk about this because in many families, there's this lack of resolution. Families don't really like to talk about things. Some of them have the habit of just sweeping things under the carpet and pretending like everything is okay. And then there's families that air all of their grievances and there's a lot of intensity and people argue and fight and people leave and um, say things that ought not be said. And there's these unresolved conflicts. This could happen when they're children. It can continue into adolescence and then into adulthood. And this type of dramatic and tense conflict that's just lingering for the adult child can be so stressful and unmanageable that for them, within them, the stress of being around family is way too much to bear. And so it creates an atmosphere and a contributor to estrangement. One of the things that adult children say in this arena of communication problems and errors is that they wish their parents would take responsibility. And it's a habitual thing where a parent does something and offends the adult child. And rather than saying, oh, I'm so sorry, their response is some type of denial, some type of defensiveness, and there's never any resolution. And what adult children yearn for is for parents to finally say, hey, I'm sorry, I apologize. And adult children really would love for parents to go to that step. And number 11, is family secrets. So family secrets are those places where people have to be hush hush or something very important wasn't told to the adult child. This type of uh, secrecy, it makes for the adult child to come when they finally find out, which happens sometimes. They find out some secret about their childhood or their parent or even about them that they weren't told gives them a sense of uh, lack of trust and betrayal. And it's very, very hurtful for them. So family secrets, when things are not revealed, when there's no honesty and there's trust that's broken and betrayal is 
very, very difficult on the adult child. Another piece of that is that adult children maybe have to keep a secret about somebody in the family who has an addiction or a mental illness. And everybody is hush hush about this family member or something that's happened. And it's a lot of stress for the adult child and that can create an atmosphere that contributes to estrangement. Well, I hope this video has been helped to you. If it has, please hit the like, subscribe, ring the bell. Don't forget to leave a comment and get my ebook, Feeling Heartbroken and, and Alone how to pick up the pieces when you are estranged. See you in the next video.